One universal creator God, truth is the name, creative being personified, no fear, no hatred, image of the undying, beyond birth, self-existent, by Guru's grace. Rag Thodi Chopadas, fourth Mahal, first house. Without the Lord, my mind cannot survive. If the Guru unites me with my beloved Lord God, my breath of life, then I shall not have to face the wheel of reincarnation again in the terrifying world ocean. Pause. My heart is gripped by a yearning for my Lord God, and with my eyes I behold my Lord God. The merciful, true Guru has implanted the name of the Lord within me. This is the path leading to my Lord God. Through the Lord's love, I have found the Nam, the name of my Lord God, the Lord of the universe, the Lord my God. The Lord seems so very sweet to my heart, mind, and body. Upon my face, upon my forehead, my good destiny is inscribed. Those whose minds are attached to greed and corruption forget the Lord, the good Lord God. Those self-willed manmukhs are called foolish and ignorant. Misfortune and bad destiny are written on their foreheads. From the true Guru, I have obtained a discriminating intellect. The Guru has revealed the spiritual wisdom of God. Servant Nanak has obtained the Nam from the Guru. Such is the destiny inscribed upon his forehead. Thodi, fifth Mahal, first house, Dupadas. One universal creator God by the grace of the true Guru. The saints do not know any other. They are carefree, ever in the Lord's love. The Lord and Master is on their side. Pause. Your canopy is so high, O Lord and Master, no one else has any power. Such is the immortal Lord and Master the devotees have found. The spiritually wise remain absorbed in His love. Disease, sorrow, pain, old age, and death do not even approach the humble servant of the Lord. They remain fearless in the love of the one Lord. O Nanak, they have surrendered their minds to the Lord. Thodi, fifth Mahal. Forgetting the Lord, one is ruined forever. How can anyone be deceived who has your support, O Lord? Pause. Without meditating in remembrance on the Lord, life is like a burning fire, even if one lives long like a snake. One may rule over the nine regions of the earth, but in the end he shall have to depart, losing the game of life. He alone sings the glorious praises of the Lord, the treasure of virtue, upon whom the Lord showers his grace. He is at peace and his birth is blessed. Nanak is a sacrifice to him. Thodi, fifth Mahal, second house, Chopadas. One universal creator God, by the grace of the true Guru. The mind wanders, wandering in the ten directions. It is intoxicated by Maya, enticed by the taste of greed. God himself has diluted it. Pause. He does not focus his mind even for a moment on the Lord's sermon or the Lord's praises, or the Sad Sangat, the company of the holy. He is excited, gazing on the transitory color of the safflower and looking at other men's wives. He does not love the Lord's lotus feet, and he does not please the true Lord. He runs around chasing the fleeting objects of the world in all directions like the ox around the oil press. He does not practice the nam, the name of the Lord, nor does he practice charity or inner cleansing. He does not sing the kirtan of the Lord's praises, even for an instant. Clinging to his many falsehoods, he does not please his own mind, and he does not understand his own self. He never does good deeds for others. He does not serve or meditate on the true Guru. He is entangled in the company and the advice of the five demons intoxicated by the wine of Maya. I offer my prayer in the Sad Sangit, hearing that the Lord is the lover of his devotees I have come. Nanak runs after the Lord and pleads, protect my honor, Lord, and make me your own. 
Chapter 3 Chapter 3 Fifth Mahal Without understanding, his coming into the world is useless. He puts on various ornaments and many decorations, but it is like dressing a corpse. Pause. With great effort and exertion, the miser works to gather in the riches of Maya. He does not give anything in charity or generosity, and he does not serve the saints. His wealth does not do him any good at all. The soul bride puts on her ornaments, embellishes her bed, and fashions decorations. But if she does not obtain the company of her husband lord, the sight of these decorations only brings her pain. The man works all day long, threshing the husks with the pestle. He is depressed like a forced laborer, and so he is of no use to his own home. But when God shows his mercy and grace, he implants the nam, the name of the Lord within the heart. Search the sod sangit, the company of the holy Onanic, and find the sublime essence of the Lord. Thodi, fifth mahal. O Lord, ocean of mercy, please abide forever in my heart. Please awaken such understanding within me that I may be in love with you, God. Pause. Please bless me with the dust of the feet of your slaves. I touch it to my forehead. I was a great sinner, but I have been made pure, singing the kirtan of the Lord's glorious praises. Your will seems so sweet to me. Whatever you do is pleasing to me. Whatever you give, with that I am satisfied. I shall chase after no one else. I know that my Lord and Master God is always with me. I am the dust of all men's feet. If I find the sad sangit, the company of the holy, I shall obtain God. For ever and ever I am your child. You are my God, my King. Nanak is your child. You are my mother and father. Please give me your name like milk in my mouth. Thodi, fifth mahal, second house, Dupadas. One universal creator God by the grace of the true Guru. I beg for the gift of your name, O my Lord and Master. Nothing else shall go along with me in the end. By your grace, please allow me to sing your glorious praises. Pause. Power, wealth, various pleasures and enjoyments are all just like the shadow of a tree. He runs, runs, runs around in many directions, but all of his pursuits are useless. Except for the Lord of the universe, everything he desires appears transitory. Says Nanak, I beg for the dust of the feet of the saints, so that my mind may find peace and tranquility. Thodi, fifth mahal. The Nam, the name of the dear Lord, is the support of my mind. It is my life, my breath of life, my peace of mind. For me, it is an article of daily use. Pause. The Nam is my social status. The Nam is my honor. The Nam is my family. The Nam is my companion. It is always with me. The Lord's name is my emancipation. Sensual pleasures are talked about a lot, but none of them goes along with anyone in the end. The Nam is Nanak's dearest friend. The Lord's name is my treasure. Thodi, fifth mahal. Sing the sublime praises of the Lord and your disease shall be eradicated. Your face shall become radiant and bright and your mind shall be immaculately pure. You shall be saved here and hereafter. Pause. I wash the Guru's feet and serve him. I dedicate my mind as an offering to him. Renounce self-conceit, negativity, and egotism, and accept what comes to pass. He alone commits himself to the service of the saints, upon whose forehead such destiny is inscribed. Says Nanak, other than the one Lord, there is not any other able to act. Todi, fifth mahal. O true Guru, I have come to your sanctuary. Grant me the peace and glory of the Lord's name and remove my anxiety. Pause. I cannot see any other place of shelter. I have grown weary and collapsed at your door. Please ignore my account. Only then may I be saved. I am worthless. Please save me. You are always forgiving and always merciful. 
you give support to all. Slave Nanak follows the path of the saints. Save him, O Lord, this time. Todi, fifth Mahal. My tongue sings the praises of the Lord of the world, the ocean of virtue. Peace, tranquility, poise, and delight well up in my mind, and all sorrows run away. Pause. Whatever I ask for, I receive. I serve at the Lord's feet, the source of nectar. I am released from the bondage of birth and death, and so I cross over the terrifying world ocean. Searching and seeking, I have come to understand the essence of reality. The slave of the Lord of the universe is dedicated to him. If you desire eternal bliss, O Nanak, ever remember the Lord in meditation. Todi, fifth Mahal. The slanderer by Guru's grace has been turned away. The Supreme Lord God has become merciful. With Shiva's arrow, he shot his head off. Pause. Death and the noose of death cannot see me. I have adopted the path of truth. I have earned the wealth, the jewel of the Lord's name. Eating and spending, it is never used up. In an instant, the slanderer was reduced to ashes. He received the rewards of his own actions. Servant Nanak speaks the truth of the scriptures. The whole world is witness to it. Todi, fifth Mahal. O miser, your body and mind are full of sin. In the Sad Sangit, the company of the holy, vibrate, meditate on the Lord and Master. He alone can cover your sins. Pause. When many holes appear in your boat, you cannot plug them with your hands. Worship and adore the one to whom your boat belongs. He saves the counterfeit along with the genuine. People want to lift up the mountain with mere words, but it just stays there. Nanak has no strength or power at all. O oh God, please protect me. I seek your sanctuary. Todi, fifth Mahal. Meditate on the lotus feet of the Lord within your mind. The name of the Lord is the medicine. It is like an axe which destroys the diseases caused by anger and egotism. Pause. The Lord is the one who removes the three fevers. He is the destroyer of pain, the warehouse of peace. No obstacles block the path of one who prays before God. By the grace of the saints, the Lord has become my physician. God alone is the doer, the cause of causes. He is the giver of perfect peace to the innocent-minded people. O Nanak, the Lord, Hud Hud is my support. Todi, fifth Mahal. Chant the name of the Lord, Hud Hud, forever and ever. Showering his kind mercy, the Supreme Lord God himself has blessed the town. Pause. The one who owns me has taken care of me. My sorrow and suffering is past. He gave me his hand and saved me, his humble servant. The Lord is my mother and father. All beings and creatures have become kind to me. My Lord and Master blessed me with his kind mercy. Nanak seeks the sanctuary of the Lord, the destroyer of pain. His glory is so great. Todi, fifth Mahal. O Lord and Master, I seek the sanctuary of your court. Destroyer of millions of sins, O great giver, other than you, who else can save me? Pause. Searching, searching in so many ways, I have contemplated all the objects of life. In the Sad Sangit, the company of the holy, the supreme state is attained. But those who are engrossed in the bondage of Maya lose the game of life. My mind is in love with the Lord's lotus feet. I have met the beloved Guru, the noble heroic being. Nanak celebrates in bliss. Chanting and meditating on the Lord, all sickness has been cured. Todi, fifth Mahal, third house, Chopadas. One universal creator God by the grace of the true Guru. Oh, oh, you cling to Maya, you fool. This is not a trivial matter. That which you consider to be yours is not yours. Pause. You do not remember your Lord even for an instant. That which belongs to others you believe to be your own. 
The Nam, the name of the Lord, is always with you, but you do not enshrine it within your mind. You have attached your consciousness to that which you must eventually abandon. You collect that which will bring you only hunger and thirst. You have not obtained the supplies of the ambrosial Nam. You have fallen into the pit of sexual desire, anger, and emotional attachment. By Guru's grace, O Nanak, a rare few are saved. Todi, fifth Mahal. I have only the one Lord, my God. I do not recognize any other pause. By great good fortune, I have found my Guru. The Guru has implanted the name of the Lord within me. The name of the Lord, Hud Hud, is my meditation, austerity, fasting, and daily religious practice. Meditating on the Lord, Hud Hud, I have found total joy and bliss. The praises of the Lord are my good conduct, occupation, and social class. Listening to the kirtan of the Lord's praises, I am in absolute ecstasy. Says Nanak, everything comes to the homes of those who have found their Lord and Master. Todi, fifth Mahal, fourth house, Dupadas. One universal creator God by the grace of true Guru. My beautiful mind longs for the love of the Lord. By mere words, the Lord's love does not come. Pause. I have searched for the blessed vision of his darshan, looking in each and every street. Meeting with the Guru, my doubts have been dispelled. I have obtained the wisdom from the holy saints, according to the preordained destiny inscribed upon my forehead. In this way, Nanak has seen the Lord with his eyes. Todi, fifth Mahal. My foolish heart is in the grip of pride. By the will of my Lord God, Maya, like a witch, has swallowed my soul. Pause. More and more, he continually yearns for more, but unless he is destined to receive, how can he obtain it? He is entangled in wealth, bestowed in the Lord God. The unfortunate one attaches himself to the fire of desires. Listen, O mind, to the teachings of the holy saints, and all your sins shall be totally washed away. One who is destined to receive from the Lord, O servant Nanak, shall not be cast into the womb of reincarnation again. Thodi, fifth Mahal, fifth house, Dupadas. One universal creator God by the grace of the true Guru. Such is the blessing my God has bestowed upon me. He has totally banished the five evils and the illness of egotism from my body. Pause. Breaking my bonds and releasing me from vice and corruption, he has enshrined the word of the Guru Shabbat within my heart. The Lord has not considered my beauty or ugliness. Instead, he has held me with love. I am drenched with his love. I behold my beloved now that the curtain has been torn away. My mind is happy, pleased, and satisfied. My house is his. He is my God. Nanak is obedient to his Lord and Master. Todi, fifth Mahal. O oh, my mother, my mind is in love. This is my karma and my dharma. This is my meditation. The Lord's name is my immaculate, unstained way of life. Pause. The support of my breath of life, the wealth of my life, is to gaze upon the blessed vision of God's darshan. On the road and on the river, these supplies are always with me. I have made my mind the Lord's companion. By the grace of the saints, my mind has become immaculate and pure. In his mercy, he has made me his own. Remembering, remembering him in meditation, Nanak has found peace. From the very beginning and throughout the ages, he is the friend of his devotees. Todi, fifth Mahal. Dear God, please meet me. You are my breath of life. Do not let me forget you from my heart even for an instant. Please bless your devotee with your gift of perfection. Pause. Dispel my doubt and save me, O my beloved. All-knowing Lord, O inner knower, O searcher of hearts. The wealth of the Nam is worth millions of kingdoms to me. O oh God, please bless me with your ambrosial glance of grace. Twenty-four hours a day I sing your glorious praises. They totally satisfy my ears, O oh my all-powerful Lord. 
I seek your sanctuary, O Lord, O giver of life to the soul. Forever and ever, Nanak is a sacrifice to you. Todi, fifth Mahal. O God, I am the dust of your feet. O merciful to the meek, beloved mind enticing Lord, by your kind mercy, please fulfill my yearning. Pause. In the ten directions, your praises are permeating and pervading, O inner knower, searcher of hearts, O Lord ever present. Those who sing your praises, O Creator Lord, those humble beings never die or grieve. The worldly affairs and entanglements of Maya disappear in the Sad Sangit, the company of the holy. All sorrows are taken away. The comforts of wealth and the enjoyments of the soul, O Nanak, without the Lord, know them to be false. Todi, fifth Mahal. O my mother, my mind is so thirsty. I cannot survive even for an instant without my beloved. My mind is filled with the desire to behold the blessed vision of his darshan. Pause. I meditate in remembrance on the Nam, the name of the Immaculate Creator Lord. All the sins and errors of my mind and body are washed away. The perfect Supreme Lord God, the eternal imperishable giver of peace. Spotless and pure are his praises. By the grace of the saints, my desires have been fulfilled. In his mercy, the Lord, the treasure of virtue, has met me. Peace and tranquility, poise and pleasure have welled up within my mind. Millions of suns, O Nanak, illuminate me. Godi, fifth Mahal. The Lord Hud Hud is the purifier of sinners. He is the soul, the breath of life, the giver of peace and honor, the inner knower, the searcher of hearts. He is pleasing to my mind, pause. He is beautiful and wise, clever and all-knowing. He dwells within the hearts of his slaves. His devotees sing his glorious praises. His form is immaculate and pure. He is the incomparable Lord and Master. Upon the field of actions and karma, whatever one plants, one eats. I am amazed and wonderstruck by his wonder. There is none other than him. Meditating in remembrance on his praises with my tongue, I live. Slave Nanak is forever a sacrifice to him. Dodi, fifth Mahal. O my mother, Maya is so misleading and deceptive. Without meditating on the Lord of the universe, it is like straw on fire or the shadow of a cloud, or the running of the flood waters. Pause. Renounce your cleverness and all your mental tricks with your palms pressed together. Walk on the path of the holy saints. Remember the Lord, the inner knower, the searcher of hearts. This is the most sublime reward of this human incarnation. The holy saints preach the teachings of the Vedas, but the unfortunate fools do not understand them. Servant Nanak is absorbed in loving devotional worship. Meditating in remembrance on the Lord, one's dirt is burnt away. Todi, fifth Mahal. O oh, Mother, the Guru's feet are so sweet. By great good fortune, the transcendent Lord has blessed me with them. Millions of rewards come from the blessed vision of the Guru's darshan. Pause. Singing the glorious praises of the imperishable, indestructible Lord, Sexual desire, anger, and stubborn pride vanish. Those who are imbued with the love of the true Lord become permanent and eternal. Birth and death do not grind them down anymore. Without the Lord's meditation, all joys and pleasures are totally false and worthless. By the kind mercy of the saints, I know this. Servant Nanak has found the jewel of the Nam. Without the Nam, all must depart cheated and plundered. Todi, fifth Mahal. In the Sad Sangit, the company of the holy, I contemplate the name of the Lord, Hud Hud. I am in peaceful poise and bliss day and night. The seed of my destiny has sprouted. Pause. I have met the true Guru by great good fortune. He has no end or limitation. Taking his humble servant by the hand, he pulls him out of the poisonous world ocean. Birth and death are ended for me by the word of the Guru's teachings. I shall no longer pass through the door of pain and suffering. 
Nanak holds tight to the sanctuary of his Lord and Master. Again and again he bows in humility and reverence to him. Thodi, fifth mahal. O oh my mother, my mind is at peace. I enjoy the ecstasy of millions of princely pleasures. Remembering the Lord in meditation, all pains have been dispelled. Pause. The sinful residues of millions of lifetimes are erased by meditating on the Lord. Becoming pure, my mind and body have found peace. Gazing upon the Lord's form of perfect beauty, my hopes have been fulfilled. Attaining the blessed vision of his darshan, my hunger has been appeased. The four great blessings, the eight supernatural spiritual powers of the Siddhas, the wish-fulfilling Elysian cow, and the wish-fulfilling tree of life. All these come from the Lord, Hud, Hud. O Nanak, holding tight to the sanctuary of the Lord, the ocean of peace, you shall not suffer the pains of birth and death, or fall into the womb of reincarnation again. Thodi, fifth mahal. I have enshrined the Lord's feet within my heart, contemplating my Lord and Master, my true Guru, all my affairs have been resolved. Pause. The merits of giving donations to charity and devotional worship come from the kirtan of the praises of the transcendent Lord. This is the true essence of wisdom. Singing the praises of the unapproachable, infinite Lord and Master, I have found immeasurable peace. The Supreme Lord God does not consider the merits and demerits of those humble beings whom he makes his own. Hearing, chanting, and meditating on the jewel of the Nam, I live. Nanak wears the Lord as his necklace. Todi, Ninth Mahal. One universal creator God, by the grace of the true Guru, what can I say about my base nature? I am entangled in the love of gold and women, and I have not sung the kirtan of God's praises. Pause. I judge the false world to be true, and I have fallen in love with it. I have never contemplated the friend of the poor, who shall be my companion and helper in the end. I remain intoxicated by maya night and day, and the filth of my mind will not depart. Says Nanak, now, without the Lord's sanctuary, I cannot find salvation in any other way. Todi, the word of the devotees. One universal creator God by the grace of the true Guru. Some say that he is near and others say that he is far away. We might just as well say that the fish climbs out of the water up the tree. Why do you speak such nonsense? One who has found the Lord keeps quiet about it. Pause. Those who become pundits, religious scholars, recite the Vedas, but foolish Namdev knows only the Lord whose blemishes remain when one chants the Lord's name. Sinners become pure chanting the Lord's name. Pause. With the Lord, servant Namdev has come to have faith. I have stopped fasting on the eleventh day of each month. Why should I bother to go on pilgrimages to sacred shrines? Praise Namdev. I have become a man of good deeds and good thoughts. Chanting the Lord's name under Guru's instructions, who has not gone to heaven? Here is a verse with a threefold play on words. Pause. In the potter's home there are pots, and in the king's home there are camels. In the Brahmin's home there are windows. So here they are, Handi, Sandi, and Randi. In the home of the grocer there is Asafatida. On the forehead of the buffalo there are horns. In the temple of Shiva there are lingams. So here they are, Hing, Sing, Ling. In the house of the oil presser there is oil. In the forest there are vines. In the gardener's home there are bananas. So here they are, Tail, Bail, Kale. The Lord of the universe, Govind, is within his saints. Krishna, Sham, is in Goko. The Lord of Ram is in Namdev. So here they are, Ram, Sham, Govind.